The, ways of the, the plug scale. has been lifted from the unjoint jar. O cascade of black, perfume of the hour. In the ways of the, the scale. past has been written, rolled and sealed in the scroll. In the ways Again, now you can feel the, the effect of, the of this most the powerful Mastaba of Meruka. We are right here inside a Mastaba that has over 300 rooms. This brother formed his Mastaba for his whole family like a home with rooms and many rooms and look how large it is and we're talking about doing the old kingdom and he was a tajeti or what is known as a vizier for teti now what was his job what did he do he looked over all the others who were the builders of the mastabas he also was the overseer of the crafts in the area now what relationship can we connect that to what we know today that is masonry. This is where he was the overseer of, he was the grand master of all the crafts, all the workers in this area. So he was a very serious uh, 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 grand vizier who would be equivalent to somebody like M Hotel. But he was for Teti. Now, of course, to become such a high status, you had to go to school for 40 years to become the grand master. This he was what you would call a son of light. The son of light was achieved by opening up of his mind, opening up his pineal gland. The position that you will see of all the grand masters, such as Mer Ruka, is with his left leg forward. There are, and many of the other kings, you always see the left leg forward. Why is the left leg always forward? The left leg is forward, first of all, because the heart is on the left side, and they must trample down evil. Evil is always present. Our ancestors understood the laws of opposites, so he must walk with his left foot forward to trample down evil so his heart can go forward. See, as you trample it down, then your heart will go forward. So this was the purpose of the left leg forward, to trample down evil for his heart to go forward. Later, the European military took this from Kemet, left, right, left, right, left, right. This is where that came from. So this African here also has the apron. That's the symbol and he also has the collar. Now look at that very closely because you know this guy. His name is George Washington. He has his left leg forward. Look at the collar and the apron. Where did it, now you have come back, all the way back, and seeing the origin. But we want to see, show you where this came from. This didn't start in no 1717 tea house in England. <laughs> this was the 360 degrees that we had, not no 33 degrees a few degrees above freezing. These were the true grand masters. This is the origin. So why would you go back to Jerusalem with Solomon's temple? Supposedly where Hiram Habib was the grand master for Solomon of 900 years BC. Brothers and sisters, this is over 4,000 years ago. There was no Hiram Habib yet. There was no Solomon yet. So why should we be worshiping them? Because we have lost our story. This is where it all began, Nathan. Huh? This is where it all came from. This is the true worship of Grand Master that stood in the northeast corner where you are right now to get the light where the light of the world came from. This is where the Pythagorean order came from. So we got all kinds of levels we're going to be dealing with here. But this is where it came from. And that's why they put this symbol on the dollar bill. They knew where the light of the knowledge came from. The pyramid here where you are, brothers and sisters, which you saw up on that hill. Why were they using these symbols? Now you understand why we were not allowed to deal with Kemet. We must take the key and unlock the sacred knowledge is what we're doing here. But brothers and sisters, we come back to grab you with the Grand Master's grip to bring you up to the living perpendicular to who we are as an African people. That's what we're trying to do here, brothers and sisters. The most powerful clothing that the Grand Masters, the Son of Light, could put on their bodies. 
was what is called the Wasquet, the collar, as you see him wearing right here. You see Mayor Ruka. You see where the Grandmaster's grip of the lion's paw. See the lion's paw on Mayor Ruka? You see the paws right there? For those that may be in masonry, when you know in the third degree, the Grandmaster's grip of the lion's paw was supposedly when Solomon grabbed a harem and raised him up. But look at the, now keep in mind that Mayor Ruka was the Grandmaster's. Look at the Grandmaster's grip of the lion's paw. Look at the lion's paw right there. See on his garment right there? Collar. This is where the origin of the Grandmaster's Grip of the Lion's Call came from. Also, this game is called Sinet. Now you can see where chess came from. Okay? So long before chess, European concept of chess, now you can understand where the name chess, or chess, came from Sinet. Let's go back to the craft of Amanara. Let's go back to the Grand Master who taught for thousands of years. That's your African architect of the present day Masons, like in St. Louis. Here you can see they got the step pyramid from Sakara M Hotel of the African architect Masons, as they said in their Freemasonry magazine. Let's go after this, even the lowest columns and everything. Even if you were to go inside of white folks' Western Freemasonry, here they talk about the first degree, second degree, third degree of entering apprentice, and the third degree is the Blue Lodge, and the Blue Lodge is supposed to be the Grand Master. How can you be a Grand Master in the third degree? Our ancestors said you went to school for 40 years to become a son of light, a 360 degrees of a Grand Master. And now they're gonna say th third degree? And then they're going to have all these white folks on here. Enhotep's not on here. You got the Scottish Rite Order, and then also the York Rite Order, and the Scottish Rite, York Rite, and the Royal Arch Rite, and Knights Templar make up what they call the 33rd degree. But nothing is on here about Enhotep, Amenhotep, the son of Hapu, May, Penra, African Grand Masters who lived thousands of years before white folks' Western Freemasonry. But at the same time, the daughters of the Nile and the Shriners, they use everything of Africa to make up their structure of Freemasonry, but don't give credit to where they stole it from. They got an order in the 13th degree to call the Royal Arch Order of Solomon. But that Royal Arch Order, brothers and sisters, can be found right there in the Kemetic Nile Valley, the Archer and Medina Habu, to Osama Adra, to Kevin Ra, as I'm standing in a position called the Ka Lysium Sioux. That means that we must walk with our left legs forward to trample down white supremacy for our spirits to go forward. So that is called the Ka Nisi Amsu. On the Het Chetaru, you see our ancestors caused over 3,000 years ago in the Ka Nisi Amsu to trample down evil for the heart to go forward. That's what we as black men have got to walk in the Ka Nisi Amsu to trample down white supremacy for our spirits to go forward. Look at the car, Missy M. Sue, and see that this sketch of the hailing, the grand hailing sign is based off of your car, Missy M. Sue. This is the outfit. You got it carved in stone over 3,000 years ago. What makes their sketch more sacred than what you Today, they still have the initiation in the Western secret society with the left foot forward and walk to trample down evil for the walk, the, the, the heart to go forward. This is their military training, left, right, left, right, training the Marines in initiation into the secret society. Taken from who? The African Grand Masters like Ursa Maad, Ross, and Kevin Ra, walking in their left leg forward called the Khan Nisiem Su. This is where they copied from your African Grand Masters. Look at this. This is the whole secret society right here. This is the secret, your ancestral knowledge.